So in this example, the main important thing is to write this correctly using long division. So x plus 3 is my divisor. That goes into 3x cubed. You guys can see that this is in descending order. Yes? And I'm not missing any terms. So therefore, I'm just going to write it as it is. Fail. So we ask ourselves, x divides into 3x cubed. How many times? 3x squared. Is everybody OK with that? Not OK? You can add, raise your hand. I assume everybody is OK. All right. Then we multiply that term times both of our divisors. 3x squared times x is 3x cubed. If you guys haven't already noticed, when you multiply how many times that divides into it, you should always, you should always get the exact same value. Man, I'm really popular today, aren't I? OK. So now, then I multiply the 3x squared times 3, which is, that's a squared, right? Now, I simply go ahead and subtract the rows. Please get used to putting them around parentheses. This is the most common mistake. Most common mistake. And if you have trouble with this, write it out. Whenever somebody was saying, did I do this right? What I do is I always write the problem separately on like the side of your paper. Right? Sometimes it's much easier to kind of do the division or subtraction on the side. 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is 0x cubed, which is just 0. 17x squared minus 9x squared. As I mentioned, write it out to the side if you have trouble. Oh, 17x squared minus 9x squared. Oh, OK, that's just 8x squared, right? You don't need to bring down the rest of the terms unless you need to. x divides an 8x squared. Uh, I don't know. So write it to the side. How many times does x go into x squared? 8x squared, I'm sorry. It goes into there, a positive 8x. Then, again, we do the same thing. Multiply the 8x times both of the terms. 8x times x is 8x squared. Do you guys again see how this pattern is forming? If you do this correctly, you always have those same terms are the same. Because what the long division is doing is eliminating those terms. And then 8x times 3 is going to be a positive 24x. Now, I don't have anything to subtract the 24x from, so I bring down the next term, which is a positive 21x. Only bring them down when needed is my preference. Now, I put them in parentheses and subtract. So 8x squared minus 8x squared is 0x squared. 21 minus 24, you owe me 21, or you owe me, sorry, you have $21 and you owe me 24, right? So now you owe me $3. OK, that goes to 0. Now we do the same process all over again. x divides into a negative 3x, negative 3 times. Negative 3 times x is a negative 3x. Negative 3 times 3 is a negative 9. Bring down this negative 9. Put in parentheses and subtract. This is usually where people get mistakes is when you have these double negatives. Negative 3x minus a negative 3x. Guys, remember, when you're minusing a negative, that's the same as addition. Negative 3x plus 3x is, again, 0x. And negative 9 minus a negative 9 is 0. So therefore, since your remainder is 0, this is your quotient. So since this is, I'm sorry, since this is your quotient, does, is this a factor of the polynomial? Yes, it is. OK? Now, um, if you guys can look at those two problems.